What's going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and stay with the golf for you guys to some more Call of Duty and Black Ops 3 news and information. Now in today's video we are indeed going to be covering the patch notes for 1.09. The patch has just been updated over on the PlayStation 4 and well in this video I will be giving you them all. There will be a full link down in the description below. In this video I will just be talking about the weapons because a lot of weapons have indeed been changed and that includes some machine guns, assault rifles, shotguns and also light machine guns and well like I said I will just be covering those in this video if you guys want the full patch notes there will be a link down below so anyway guys without further ado let's jump into it the submachine guns first the CUDA has received a multiple nerfs it's reduced at one hit kill range in hardcore mode also reduced ADS movements but no longer lose speed whilst firing so that indeed is a nerf for the CUDA it would have feel that the developers are kind of nerfing the CUDA quite a lot recently and it's not like it was before but it's still a really good SMG and well it'll be interesting to know if these changes have made a significant difference. The next one will be the VMP reduced ADS movement but no longer lose speed whilst firing so that is a nerf and a buff at the same time just like that of the CUDA. The next weapon will be the Weevil. It's received multiple buffs, removed speed reduction whilst firing, increased ADS speed, increased speed recovery speed and also increased 5 hit kill range. So that is a huge buff for the Weevil. Hashtag buff the Weevil has been accepted by Vondaha and it would appear that the Weevil could potentially be one of the better SMGs in the game. The next one will be the Vespa. This is receiving remove speed reduction whilst firing, increased ADS speed, increased spin to recovery speed and also increased ability to control recoil. So that is a buff for the Vespa. The next weapon will be the Pharaoh removed speed reduction whilst firing, also increased ADS speed. So that is a buff for the Pharaoh as well. Next up is the Razorback remove speed reduction whilst firing, increased for hit kill range and also reduced one hit kill range in hardcore mode so apart from hardcore the Razorback has also been buffed and finally for the HG40 increased free hit kill damage range so that is another buff for the HG40 so that appears like the SMGs have been mostly buffed which is something that I greatly accept because I didn't really find the SMGs that useful compared to that of the assault rifles but next up we are going to jump into the assault rifles a few weapons have indeed been changed and the first one is the HVK increased sprint recovery speed increased aim stability and also increased recoil stability so that is an overall buff for the HVK very underused weapon and hopefully this will get a few more people using it. The next one is the RCR in which it has received increased recoil stability. Now I'm pretty sure that this is just a little bit of a patch for this weapon from previously. We did get it in a hot fix previously and well in these big updates they do incorporate all of the changes that they've done previously. So don't worry in regards to that weapon. It is pretty much still like a laser beam but not as accurate as we kind of think it would be if it re received yet another increased recoil stability. The next one is the Shiva increased ADS speed, increased flinch stability and also rapid fire now functions properly. So that is pretty cool indeed the Shiva has received an overall buff. The next one and finally is the MX Garand increased fire rate. Now performs better with rapid fire so that is pretty cool indeed. Now moving on to the shotguns, the KRM increased one hit kill range potential, so that is pretty cool indeed. The next one is the Haymaker 12 increased free hit kill range. And finally, the Argus has received another buff. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's an increased one-hit kill range potential when hip-firing. I'm not sure what Treyarch are thinking with this weapon. They just keep buffing it and buffing it and buffing it, and it is by far the most overpowered weapon in the game, so I'm not entirely sure why they've done that. The next and final category will be the light machine guns. All of the light machine guns have been changed. The BRM has received increased ADS out speed, increased recoil stability, so that's a buff for the BRM. The next one, the Dingo, increased tightness of bullet spread whilst aimed down sights and also increased hip fire accuracy, so that is a buff also for the Dingo. Next one is the Gorgon, in which it's received increased ADS out speed, increased recoil stability, and also increased damage throughout light cover. 
So I believe that is also a buff for the Gorgon. And finally for the 48 Dredge, increased fire rate and also increased ADS outspeed. So all of the light machine guns have indeed been buffed. And well, it's going to be interesting to see how all of these changes are indeed going to affect the game. I'd definitely be interested in trying out the Gorgon one more time. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it as that. Like I said before, all of the links to all of the updates are down in the description below. Because, well, there has been a ton of different things changed within this patch. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it from me. I'm the Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.